We're in Yuba City, California, home of the honkers, at a place that makes me want to move known as Dancing Tomato Cafe. And I'm here with Char. Hello, Joel. <laughs> nice to have you all. Thanks for having us up here. Before we get started, Dancing Tomato, where did That's that name right. come from? My husband and I were looking to open a new restaurant. We have a history of family of restaurants in the Italian American cuisine. And we wanted to branch away from that a bit. And being in the Sack of Tomato area, we are uh, <laughs> growing tomatoes, California tomatoes, all over and around us. We were following tomato trucks, and literally the tomatoes would fall off during harvest season. We'd see them tumbling along the side of the road, and we were playing with names, being whimsical, and decided on tomatoes dancing in our dishes, whether it's Italian, Spanish, you name it. We really just want this to be more than just a restaurant. We want it to be the neighborhood place, and there's a vibe here, and there's our crew here, and it's, we are a family who loves serving families, and wow. it just grows from there. So if people aren't familiar with Yuba City, where are you located? We are just an hour, 50 miles north of Sacramento. So the state capital, Sacramento, we just keep on heading up north on 99, and you'll hit our wonderful community of Yuba City. And Dancing Tomato, so where is it located in Yuba easy. City? Easy, right off of 99, you just take a left onto Highway 20, and we're on the corner of Highway 20 and Walton Avenue, right in front of the Sam's Club. So 990 North Walton Avenue in Yuba City. You said that a lot of your dishes are made from scratch in the mm -hmm. kitchen. Mm -hmm. Can we visit the kitchen? Absolutely, let's go. All right. <laughs> uh, Walt here is in the saute station. So he's got a couple of sautés going on. He's got our rustic penne. Um, he's also got a, a tortellini amalfi, is that right, Walt? Tortellini amalfi going on. And so that is our tomato basil cream sauce. And as well, our um, special right now is our cordon bleu, house-made in a uh, creamy alfredo sauce with butternut squash is in season. So, oh. yeah, it's pretty good. What he's doing is sauteing and let, allowing the cream sauces to reduce. Um, with the rustic penne that he's working on right now, we do a little bit of, of bourbon in there, and so that is a bourbon cream sauce. He's done the meats first, so what that will do is caramelize in the pan. It smells and so then, good all yeah, of a sudden. And then um, he will deglaze the pan with what is going to become the sauce. So it's the actual deglazing of the pan and the meats that have caramelized that really makes this beautiful color and flavor um, occur. So when you talk about sauces, this is going to be added to a chicken or pasta, a meat or yeah. pasta? Yeah, so um, the cordon bleu, um, typically we serve it with an angel hair pasta in the cream sauce, but we've also switched it up now. A lot of folks are avoiding pasta and wheat products, so we've got risotto with locally grown, sustainably grown rice um, that we cook up, and so that's a nice creamy risotto. Same sauce can go right on top of that, but we've also got spaghetti squash which is in season, and so that's a completely makes it a, well, other than the chicken cordon bleu, isn't vegetarian, but um, you, can, you can sub in those options of the spaghetti squash or risotto for a, a gluten-free option. Um, the tortellini amalfi is a tri-colored cheese-filled tortellini, as I mentioned, in the tomato basil cream sauce. Wow. So we're making it from scratch. He's, he's, there's a process of, of browning, deglazing, um, letting the, the sauce reduce to the right thickness so that it will coat the pasta nicely and then be served perfectly to our guests. Now, and how many dishes will this one create or these sauces create? That is each individual dish. Wow, I, I'm just marveled at how much attention and how much detail goes into this one dish. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. Char, I always love to ask restaurant owners this question, what is your favorite dish? Our French toast is the bomb, but I love it when we feature a, a local fruit on top of it too. So um, last month was blackberries harvested right over in the Sutter Butte. I, probably my favorite food ever is pizza. I love, love, love pizza. So whether it's coming out of this oven that we call Robbie, or we have a wood fire pizza oven for catering, and those are my very favorite pizzas. What about like a, um, a healthier option dish? Well, we do uh, my green Charlene salad. So, my green shirt. Oh. Yeah, so it was named after me. We decided with the nutrition aspect, we wanted folks who were watching what they're eating for good reason. We want you to eat here often, but understand that you can't have biscuits and gravy and cream sauce all the time. So, what? Um, you will, I mean, you could, but <laughs> it's good. It's brain food, actually. Uh. But um, the green Charlene salad is a blend of power greens, organic power greens, kale, chard, and spinach. And uh, we toss it in a local vinaigrette made with local, locally made um, olive oil and balsamic vinegar. And then every month with the seasons, we top it with different items. And right now it's got butternut squash. You can put a bit of tri-tip in there and a oh, hand-sliced wow. tri-tip or um, chicken. And so it's a nice hearty big salad, but full of greens, full of good stuff. Eat your biscuits and gravy in the morning and then have a green Charlene for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> You're all good to go. We are comfort food. We are good food. We have a huge menu where the whole family can come from toddler to grandpa. What do we have here again? That is the rustic penne. And um, that is a bourbon 
uh, whiskey bourbon cream sauce. I made this once for my husband years ago, I think out of Food & Wine magazine, and he loved it so much. And so we ended up recreating it in a way that we could make it as a per person um, recipe. And that's oftentimes what we do, is we'll find things that we love and then try them out as a special. And if they fly, they make it on the main menu. Shrimp. That's with the works, yes. What, what is the, the other that meat in there? That is Italian sausage medallion. Italian sausage, oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So I know what I'm having. Um, good, we'll set good. that aside. This one is our tortellini amalfi. It's a tri-colored cheese tortellini in a tomato basil cream sauce. Um, no meat in this dish, but it's really hearty and very, very flavorful. Okay, so I know what else I'm having. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> and this is our house-made chicken cordon bleu uh, over angel hair, po angel hair pasta with our um, cream sauce with butternut squash. And the, the cordon bleu, so we have something inside the chicken. So that's the chicken breast that has been pounded out, and then we wrap, um, we've got a slice of ham and cheese in there. So you cut into it, and it's just really nice and well, breaded. I don't know what the crew's eating, but uh, anyhow. Well, let's, let me put these up in the window, wait, and wait, we'll wait. go to the other side and, <laughs> and feed you. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Good play. Dancing Tomato Cafe here in Yuba City. Where do I start? 